Hello everyone. Occasionally, you might have a part or assembly from another system that you want to import into Onshape. Onshape allows the import of files from many systems, but note that the models lose their parametric history when moving between any CAD system. Therefore, we cannot change the dimensions of the CAD file after importing it into Onshape. However, Onshape supplies powerful direct editing tools, so you can still modify parts after importing them into the system. This lesson covers how to import a part from another CAD system. Let's look at what is the best import format into Onshape. You can import many types of files into Onshape, but if you want to edit the part, the most reliable neutral 3D CAD file format to import into Onshape is Parasolid. Dot x underscore t. If the system the file originates in does not support Parasolid, step, dot step or dot stp is the next best format. Let's look at how we can save a SolidWorks assembly file into Parasolid format. Click here and go to the Save as option. Here, choose the location to save the file and give it a name. Then, select the save as type to Parasolid. Or you can select the step format too. Then click on save. Now our CAD file is saved in Parasolid.x underscore t format. There are two options in the Onshape interface for importing a file, each with a different workflow. 1. Import from the Documents page. Create Import Action to create a new Onshape document for the imported data. Two, import from within an Onshape document to import the files into that open Onshape document. Click on this plus icon and go to the import option. Let's look at the first option. On the documents page, go to create and import files. Then, select your CAD file in Parasolid format. You can also choose more than one CAD file to import at once. As you can see, there are multiple options when importing CAD files. Before going into that option, we will first look at this Orient Imported Models with Y Axis Up option. Just leave the box unchecked and click OK. Here, in this notification bar, we can see the progress of our importing file. After importing is done, it will also give you a notification. Just click on that notification to go into the imported file.
Here we go. Our file is imported. Now, let's compare the view with our original CAD system, which in this case, SOLIDWORKS. Most CAD systems have their Y axis as the up axis. On shapes up axis is the Z axis. For CAD files from systems where the up axis is the Y axis, you can elect to have the models imported with the Y axis up, otherwise, they are imported with the Z axis up. Note that you can also change the up axis from within the on shape document post import. All right, let's look at the different kinds of import options. First, we will look into the first import method from the documents page. Import to a single document, import the parts to one part studio tab and the assembly to assembly tab. Tick on the orient imported models with Y axis up option. When this option is checked, all parts in the imported part studio become a single closed composite part, regardless of whether or not the parts belong to the same body. The bodies are combined to form the composite one single part. If you miss this option during the import process, after import, you can double-click the import feature in the part studio and select create composite to create the composite part at that time. Let's open the document file in a new tab to see the comparison. As you can see, there is only an assembly tab and one part studio tab for all part studio files. This tire and rim intercrossed as they were initially designed in two different directions. Now let's move to the second option. Split into multiple documents, split assemblies and parts into different documents, preserving the structure.
As it creates different documents, it creates a folder to keep the documents. If we import more than one file once, there will be more document files here, inside the folder. Let's open this in another tab. As you can see, there is an assembly tab and studio tabs for each part studio file. Look at the difference with the first option. Now let's move to the third option. Combine to a single part studio, combine assemblies to part studios only. This is best for small assemblies. Here, we can see that there is no assembly tab, and only the part studio tab is present. Now, observe the differences among the three import options from the documents page. Our second method is, importing files from within a document. To demonstrate that, Let's import a single part file into the on shape. We are going to import this file into on shape. Let's save our SolidWorks file in parasolid format as we did earlier. Now, import the file as we did a moment ago. Open the file. Alright. Now, to import files within this document, click on this plus icon and go to the import option. Please select the file and open it. We can see two options here. Let's look at each separately. Import to this document part studio and assemblies are created as needed, depending on the contents of the imported file and named according to the names in the imported file. We can see an assembly tab and only one part studio tab for all part studio files.
Okay. Let's try the second option. Again import a file from the documents page to demonstrate. Here, select the second option. Combine to a single part studio, if the file is an assembly or contains an assembly, you have the option to import it as only a part studio. In this case, the assembly is stored as a set of parts in a single part studio. There will be duplicate parts created whenever a part is instanced more than once. Be aware that this choice should only be made if the assembly is small. Otherwise, performance will be affected. You can see only one Part Studio tab here. Let's compare the two options. Well, that's all. I hope you have got some idea about importing CAD files into Onshape. Also, using the import option, you can easily import files other than CAD files into the Onshape. Please feel free to comment below on any issue. Thank you.